Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. 30 years ago, my first guest this morning, fishing guide Gary Ellis, he had a life-changing experience happen to him. He was told that his daughter, Nicole, was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. She would only live until her teens, is what the doctor said at the beginning. Gary and his wife, Susan, decided to fight it. That was the beginning of the Red Bone Celebrity Tournament fishing series. Gary, it is such a pleasure having you on this morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me, Jenna. I use every chance I get to talk about our efforts. Well, your efforts <coughs> are so, so incredible. <coughs> Gary, let's take it back to almost 30 years ago when you received word that Nicole had cystic fibrosis. Did you know well, what that even meant, Gary? No, I didn't. She actually, <coughs> actually, uh, Nicole had to be taken prematurely. <clears throat> um, just uh, three or four weeks early, and um, she had to be in surgery with a blockage in her intestine. <clears throat> the doctor came out of surgery, and he says, you have a very tough child. She's, she's going to live. She's a survivor, but she might have cystic fibrosis. And I said, what is cystic fibrosis? And he explained in layman's terms the cause and effect and the blockage of the lungs and he said that uh, with good parental care and good doctor's care, she might live to be a teenager. And that set me back. Um, and immediately, my wife and I went to work. We volunteered for every CF function that was going on. At that time, there was only one CF foundation in the entire state of Florida in Palm Beach. And they did, a, um, they did one um, celebrity charity event and then more new celebrity charity events, celebrity black tie dinners, celebrity golf tournaments. And we were driving home one evening from one of those events early in the morning and uh, I asked my wife, I said, Susan, I'm a fishing guide and I happen to fish a number of celebrities. Why not a celebrity fishing tournament? And one thing led to the other and I just happened on June 8th in 1988, I was booked by Ted Williams, baseball hall of famer. And I presented the possibility to him that I wanted to start a fishing tournament. And he was a pretty surly old guy. And uh, you wouldn't want to be out after dark with Ted Williams. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I got him to uh, let us use his name. And by using, he took a f picture of himself, number nine, swinging the bat when he was with the Red Sox. And at the bottom, he wrote, help save young lives, fish the red bone for cystic fibrosis, Ted Williams, 1988. And with that, I put that in every invitation to every celebrity that I had in mind. And with that, I had Joe DiMaggio, Kurt Gowdy, John Havlicek, Mike Stanley played for the Texas Rangers, then uh, uh, John Palmer from NBC Today Show back then. So we had a stellar cast of characters for that first event. We raised $16,000. We thought we were doing fantastic. And now we're at a pace where we raise close to a million and a half every year and uh, it's gone nationwide you know there was a time <clears throat> that my wife and I ran the red bone but somewhere along the way it started running our lives mm -hmm. so we just we follow the red bone around 24 different events nationwide in cooperation with the cystic fibrosis foundation so it uh, keeps us pretty busy. Oh, I am sure. <laughs> How incredible is that? You went from raising that amount at the very beginning, 16000 right. to now yeah. you said $1 million? Nationwide, we'll go over a million every year. Wow. Um, last year was $1.2 million. The year before uh, was $1.4 million. Uh, but n different events come and go depending on uh, the economic situation of the territory. But um, what happened in 2001, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation executive director <clears throat> came to me and said, Gary, whatever you're doing, it's working. He said, let's take this on the road. Uh, so we started Red Bone events. We call them Red Bone at Large. Mm -hmm. And we've started them all over the country where it all goes through that Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in that area, in Atlanta, Georgia, in Boston, Massachusetts, in Buffalo, New York, um, Arkansas, Louisiana, all around the country. We work with various cystic fibrosis foundations, and I'm, I work as a, as a consultant mm -hmm. uh, to get them started, to get them a celebrity, to get the fishery and the captains together. 
but anymore, I have different fishing areas across the country are calling me every day mm -hmm. saying, we want a Redbone event in our town. Wow. Anywhere from um, um, uh, fly fishing, of the, what's the name of the town in uh, California? But it's, um, it's just a little a trout fishing village. They want a tournament. They want one in Texas. Um, um, for redfish and sea trout, we've, uh, we get opportunities to start new events almost every, every day. How neat. How neat is that? Gary, I have to ask, how is your daughter Nicole doing to this day? She's 29 years old. Um, she, uh, she certainly, she's a tough cookie. You know, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard for even a parent to know what goes through the mind of a child that knows they've been dealt a short deck. And, uh, but they try harder and they work harder and they, uh, they get more out of every minute of their life than, than the normal person because mm -hmm. they know they've been dealt a, a bad deck. And, uh, and she's doing great. She has an executive job. Um, she's in Latin American marketing for a large corporation. She's the head of their Latin American marketing. She's on her way to Brazil uh, as we speak. <laughs> wow. um, traveling around all of Latin America. But she still has to fight the fight every day. She has to do her therapy. She spends probably three hours of every day in therapy. She has to go in for, they call it a clean out, <clears throat> where they do a real intensive antibiotic and, and lung clean out um, in the hospital, it's usually two weeks, twice a year. And still, uh, with all of that, she still manages to be, um, to excel in uh, in her field and she's uh, she's got a great sense of humor she's a great uh, of course i'm a little prejudiced but uh, <laughs> no i'm sure she's she... uh, she's quite a quite a kid not a kid anymore 29 oh. going on 30 so that's right well i'm and, very proud well and it's wonderful i know she has to be so proud of you because when you started this you were told she would only live until her teens and look at her now well, we, she's... we just wouldn't accept that mm -hmm. you know no parent would accept that you know you when they tell you that you say okay we're going to change this and uh, thanks to the science the cystic fibrosis foundation they've made some tremendous breakthroughs there she's on a test right now for a drug <clears throat> that's called Kaleidico and it's adapted to the particular mutation that she has and uh, if it works that would control the effects of the disease so we're just keeping our fingers crossed and uh, knocking on wood and doing whatever we can, to, a lot of praying, mm -hmm. um, hoping that this drug will, will control the disease and she'll still have a lung capacity to continue to, uh, and then that could possibly improve with right. more therapy. So Wonderful. it's a day-to-day it's a -day fight. It makes, you, uh, it makes you try harder every minute, it makes you try to get more out of every minute, I think. And the time we spend together with our child is even more special than, uh, than it could be um, because we just, uh, we cling to every minute that we can have with her. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going we're gonna to beat this thing. You are. She's going to live a full life and uh, I'm going to be a happy daddy. Well, wonderful. Well, you should already be a happy daddy. You have very well, much be. to be proud of. And Gary, before we go this morning, I want to mention real quick that you are being an awarded a very special award by the IGFA Hall of Fame for all of the work that you, you've done with the Redbone tournaments. This is pretty incredible. Well, this is the Tommy Gifford Award. He was a great fishing guide out of um, Miami early on. I met him early in the years. And it's, it's an award that the... Uh, that the Hall of Fame gives out. It's called the Tommy Gifford Award. Uh, there's only been one other uh, Florida Keys captain, uh, Jimmy Albright, was awarded the, the award, which is an honor to even be mentioned with that. But I, in this situation, I think the award goes to all the captains that have supported our efforts. With the beginning of the Red Bone, I went to, the, to my friends, my peers, and they asked them to help support me do the very first fishing tournament. And they started out donating a day, and we paid them for a day. <clears throat> and now they do that nationwide. And it turns out that the Fishing Guide is the largest sponsor that we have in the entire uh, United States as far as sponsorship of our tournaments. And it was uh, it's by my going to my peers and getting the support of my peers 
that made it all happen. So this award is to all of you guys. <laughs> well, wonderful. <laughs> it's an honor, and uh, it's a surprise, and it's a little humbling, but <laughs> I'm, uh, I'll am i gladly accept it. Right. Well, you, you <laughs> gladly deserve it, too. Thank so, you very Gary, much. Gary, thank you so much for being with me this thank morning. Thank you for giving me the time. And if you want more information on how you can support the Red Bone Tournament across the nation, just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's much more to come this morning.